Welcome back. I have to take a couple minutes this evening and talk about something that's been weighing heavily on me for the past couple of days. If you've glanced at any social media, especially gun-related social media in the past 48 hours or so, you've probably seen a bunch of posts lamenting the fact that there was or is no boogaloo for Hamar. Why? Let's talk about it. So the easy answer and the true answer is because it all happened fast, too fast. And from what I've seen and heard, Hamad didn't make an appeal for help on social media as the event was unfolding. To be honest, even if he did, I doubt any of us would have been able to respond in time. Unlike the other not-to-be-named here individual, Hamad was not involved in an hours-long standoff where he controlled the narrative, passionately pushed his side of the story, and appealed for assistance against supposed tyranny. Ahmad didn't know he was the victim of tyranny. He probably just figured he was dealing with the racism he'd endured all his life, and this would be another one of those disconcerting and terrifying high water marks. For those of you trying to make the events surrounding Hamad a racist issue in the Tui community, shame on you. While I'm sure bigotry exists in the community, I've not seen overwhelming evidence or displays. Furthermore, I've not seen any evidence that Hamad was part of our community. Now, this does not mean that he did not need or deserve our attention and protection. It simply means that most of us were completely unaware of this gentleman until a couple days ago when the story lit up the media again. This is a racist issue, but not a racist issue within the 2A community. I repeat, Ahmad deserved and needed our protection when we were not there to offer it. Ahmad deserves and needs justice and we could and should be there to ensure it happens. Now is not the time for a bogey, as it would only distract from the real need, which is justice for Ahmad. Now is the time for us to evaluate our communities and make sure an event like this cannot happen in our neighborhood. Now is the time for us to push our elected officials and those who can actually make a difference in getting a justice for Ahmad to do so. If and only if the authorities in Georgia drop the ball and try to sweep this under the rug for a second time, do we call for a boogaloo. A boogaloo I, for one, will be a part of. How about you? 